All right guys, so my uh, meal prep containers finally came in. So I'm gonna show you guys the type that I got in case you were uh, looking for any types of um, meal prep containers that you wanted to try or use. What's up? Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys that now and then we will get on with the rest of the video. Okay. When? Okay, good girl. So yeah, the main reason I got these is because of the fact that they are BPA free. Um, they're also microwave and dishwasher safe. Um, you can put them in the freezer as well. They're leak proof. You can stack them. Uh, they can withstand hot and cold temperatures and they're reusable, uh, which is really nice. So I haven't tried these out yet, but they seem good. They had good reviews online, so I thought I would try them out. Um, but yeah, the company is called Freshware. I will let you guys know how they are once I uh, use them a little bit more. For the rest of the day, pretty much, I have stuff that I need to get done. I am going to be hitting the gym tonight. I have a back and bicep session that I will try to film. I will probably film. Um, so that's coming up. But besides that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. When you are a pain in the butt. This is what she does all the time. She just goes through my trash. Takes whatever she wants. But yeah, I'm not sponsored by them. I just wanted to try them out and they look good. So that's why I got them. Um, but like I said, I will let... Jeez, when? I'll let you guys know um, how they are after I use them. What's going on guys? So I just went and did some food shopping for uh, the next couple days. So for meal prep, I got a few things that I'm gonna show you guys um, what I've been eating pretty much in general. Um, so let's go through that right now. All right guys, so the first thing I picked up was a good source of protein, which is ground turkey. This is 94% uh, lean. So I did show you guys this before. This is something that I get on a pretty, pretty regular basis. Um, for a good source of protein. All right, next I got whole grain pasta. This is another very common food that I like to pick up. Uh, great source of carbs. So I like to eat this with a lot of meals for lunch. So I picked up two boxes of those. This is just a necessity for anybody, but I did pick up milk as well. Can't go anywhere without eggs. So I picked up two uh, dozen cartons of eggs. Uh, this is something that I eat pretty much every single breakfast. Um, I don't eat eggs too much besides um, just for breakfast, um, but I do eat them, like I said, pretty much every breakfast, every morning. So I like to keep these on me pretty much at all times. The next thing I got was apple cider. I got the honey crisp um, kind of apples. This is another one like I talked about in my previous video. Um, this is good for well, the theory behind it is that it will increase your blood sugar level, which will increase your insulin, which will cause you to store more nutrients. So I take a shot of this every single morning. 
um, before breakfast. So that is that. I also picked up packets of tuna, uh, the herb and garlic flavor. This is something that's just convenient for me if I'm on the go or I'm running short on time and I need to be somewhere. Um, I usually just pack like one or two of these um, and then I'll be set. So I like to keep these just for basically emergencies in case I'm, like I said, short on time and I need to get something quick and I don't have time to make a whole meal. So that's why I have that. And then lastly, I did pick up some brown rice. Um, so this is another source, like I said, of carbs just so I'm not eating pasta or just rice all day or whatever else the other carbs may be. Um, so it's just, it's not a crazy big haul, but I did pick up those things I wanted to show you guys. Um, but I am about to prep this food for the next couple days. Um, so I will show you guys some of that as well. So now all the food is finally cooked, so I'm just going to weigh out everything um, so I can see the serving sizes that I'm going to be putting in each container, um, and then we're going to go from there. I don't know how many I'm actually going to be able to pack up. It depends on how much will fit in each one of these. I have like 21 whole containers, so I don't know if I'll fill up all of those, um, but we'll see how many I can actually fill up. Hopefully it'll get me through um, at least a couple days. All right guys, so this is the final product for tonight. Um, most of these are filled with rice for the carbs. I did get one serving, which is one cup of rice uh, for each one of the containers. And then I also got uh, lean ground beef in each one of these, um, which is also one serving a piece for each container. Um, for the carbs, for the rest of these, I did put pasta, which is whole wheat, whole grain pasta. Um, each one of those is a serving, and then I also got turkey in those as well. Um, so that's pretty much it for tonight, guys. This should get me through um, at least till the end of the weekend. And then I will have to start prep again for the rest of the week. Um, but like I said, this should be pretty good for a couple days here. Um, but I did want to show you guys that. Um, but I hope you guys also enjoy the rest of the video. All right, what's going on, guys? Um, I wanted to make a quick clip showing you guys what I usually keep in my gym bag. Um, so I usually keep a certain amount of necessities that I always have with me whenever I go to the gym. So I wanted to show you guys what I usually keep in there. Um, so let's get into it now. All right, so one of the first things I always have with me is water. I usually just carry around a gallon jug of water and I just keep refilling this. Um, especially for me when I'm taking creatine, uh, it's really important to always have water with me. So I usually just try to fill this up. It's a good reference point for how much water I should be drinking. Um, I try to drink at least one of these a day, if not more for sure usually. Um, but yeah, I always have water with me. You can never forget that. Um, I've been dehydrated many times and it's not fun. So this is always a necessity for me when I go to the gym. All right next, this is a must, although I do forget it many times, um, which is a good pair of headphones. So I usually like to take over ear headphones to the gym. Um, these aren't actually noise canceling, but they cancel out a lot of noise just because they are over the ear. But it also sends a signal that I'm not in the mood to talk. Like I'm in the gym to work, to train. I have headphones on, I'm listening to music or whatever. Like I'm not here to socialize and talk, I'm here to get some work done. So I usually like having a pair of these at all times. I do have in ear buds too that I bring sometimes, but I usually try to go for these. Um, when I can and they're also a good backup if I do forget my other headphones So always try to have these with me at all times All right, so the next thing um, is my lifting belt So I don't use this every single day or every single time I train But I do use it for a lot of big lifts. So I always have this with me um, Even on days where I don't use it. I just keep it in my gym bag just in case I usually use this for squatting um, or for overhead presses or anything that can put a lot of strain and stress on your back. So I always have it with me. There have been a couple times where I didn't think I would need it, 
in a workout and I actually ended up using it anyway. So it always is something that I like to keep with me just in case. Um, Cause there have been back days and days where I've done legs where I didn't have it and I really wish I did because I either went too heavy and my back hurt afterwards or I didn't go heavy enough because I didn't have this belt on. So um, yeah, this is definitely a necessity for me. All right, next we got TheraBands. So this is actually, I got these when I was rehabbing for my shoulder. Uh, but that being said, I do do some workouts with these um, for shoulder rehab when I'm in the gym. So a lot of internal and external rotation for the shoulder, uh, flexion, extension, all of that stuff. So having these with me is something I like to use for shoulder days, um, even though I don't use them a lot. I do have them with me because you can kind of use them anywhere. You can put them in a door, you can wrap them around a pole and use them pretty much anywhere. So it's something I like to use on occasion for training shoulders. Um, and there's a couple of different resistances too. Um, so I kind of play around with those. But um, like I said, I don't use them too often, but I like to have them with me when I do want to use them for rehabbing um, my shoulder or any other injuries that I may have. Next up, we got wrist wraps. So these I don't use too much at all anymore. Um, but I used to have some wrist issues when doing certain exercises. So having these in my bag is helpful. Um, more as like a safety thing in my head. So I haven't had shoulder or I haven't had wrist problems in a while. Um, but if I ever do start feeling like my wrists are starting to hurt me for whatever reason, I can throw these on if I'm benching or whatever. And it usually helps. So these are great for preventing injury if my wrists are starting to hurt. Um, for whatever reason, so I keep these with me just in case. But like I said, I haven't used these in probably a couple years, um, but they are nice to have just in case. All right, next up, I do use this pretty frequently depending on what I'm doing, um, but this is a knee sleeve. So I have had, as you guys can probably tell, a decent amount of injuries when training. Uh, so this goes, this is a slip on, so you slip it right around your knee um, and it helps with taking some stress and strain off of your knee when you're uh, squatting or doing anything like that with your legs. So I don't use this unless I'm going decently heavy, um, but when I am going heavy, this is a very good thing to have um, for my knees. I usually put it on my right knee since I only have one, and my left knee doesn't usually hurt me, um, so I do use this for my right knee. But uh, when I am going heavy, I'm very happy to have this because it can get very uh, painful if I am squatting a decent amount of weight um, so I use this a lot in conjunction with my lifting belt. Um, but yeah, this is a must for heavy leg days. Sometimes I do forget pre-workout. So I like to keep um, extra, extra packets of um, energy drinks. This is from 3D Energy. Or sorry, not 3D Energy. This is from um, Pure Kick Energy. So I'm not sponsored by this company by any way. I'm not affiliated with them. I just have these, this product and I like it and I use it, so that's why I'm showing you guys. But I do keep these in my gym bag, like I said, for days where I do forget my pre-workout or days where I'm just, where I took my pre-workout and I'm just dragging. So having these with me is something that I use a lot and it's very helpful for days where I'm um, hurting, especially leg days. Sometimes I find that I will do, I will take pre-workout on leg days and I get there and for whatever reason, I'm just tired. So having the extra boost can be very beneficial on especially heavy lifting days. All right, next up, this is a very important one for me. It is a lock and key. So when I take my bag to the gym, there are locker rooms. So having your bag locked up is very important. It just gives me a peace of mind that my bag is safe and secure. Because sometimes I do carry um, pretty valuable things in it, like my camera. Um, so having this is just an extra step for security. Um, which helps me, like I said, give me a peace of mind while I'm in the gym and I don't have to keep checking on my bag and worrying about if it's getting stolen. All right, guys, that is pretty much it. I pretty much stripped my whole gym bag, um, but I just wanted to show you guys what I keep in there. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the breakdown of my gym bag and the rest of the video as a whole. Um, but if you guys enjoyed it, um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like the video um, and then comment down below what you guys thought of my gym bag. Um, but besides that, I will see you guys in the next one.